My name is King ID, and this is Introduction to IDEA Data Analysis by Caseware. Today is Lesson 4, Relating Data. This is the fourth lesson in a series of eight lessons on the topic of Introduction to IDEA. In today's lesson, we'll be using these five files, Sales Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, and Product Margin. And these can be found in the Dropbox link here, and I will also provide the link in the description below. So let's get to it. So I have already imported the data. And again, if you want to learn how to import the data, you can go to Lesson 2. So since I've already imported it, I'm going to open up my script. Hit Run and watch the files be imported. And then again, you have to click on this refresh list and it will open up the file explorer. And in today's lesson, we'll be focusing on this area. Joins, visual connector, append. Uh, we're probably not going to cover it, compare, but I'll explain any concept. So the first function we're going to focus on is append, which basically adds files below tables. So if you had, for example, bi-weekly payroll payments and you want to figure out what were the annual payments, you could use a pen and append all 26, 27, however many bi-weekly annual payments payments there are, and then figure out the total by summarizing afterwards. So we're going to do that. We're going to make sure we're going to have sales Q1 open and we're going to hit append. And essentially, we're going to add Q2, Q3, Q4, and we're going to call this sales annual. So again, you'll see that we'll have all the sales during the year. We can do some quick checks. So for example, we can do some field statistics and see Go to the sales amount and see what the total value is. So in this case, it looks like we have one hundred and ninety-eight thousand dollars worth of sales annually. So that's really useful information. We'll go back to data, and the next thing we want to do is is to figure out okay, that's all fine and dandy. How do we so we we know how how much towards our sales amount is, but maybe we want to know how profitable are these products. So you'll see that for example, product A has more profitability than product B and C. So what we're going to do next is we're going to use this function called join. And then what join does is it's a little bit complicated, but essentially you have your primary table, which is the table that we currently have open. And we want to include all the fields there. And then you're going to have your secondary database. So in this case, we're going to select product margin. So if you think of it this way, a pen adds data sets um, vertically, basically adding rows, while join adds data horizontally, adding columns. So we select our secondary database, then we're going to select our fields. So since we already have product in the annual sales data, we don't need it in the second table. It's going to ask us, what do we want to match it on? So what we want to match it on is, how do I know what, where are the connectors uh, in the data? In this case, it's product, because I want to figure out what the product margin is. Okay. And then there's different matches you can do. So you can see here, match only. So we had a Venn diagram. I'd be the ones that intersect all in the primary. So I would include all records in, in sales annual regardless if there's a match in, in uh, product margin. And then you can see the various matches in this one. So all really great. And then what we're going to do next is going to click OK. So now you can see how profitable each of the products are. And then ne the next lesson uh, will be, or well, not next lesson, lesson six will be covering creating and modifying and moving fields. So in that lesson, we'll be adding adding another column 
to discuss what the final product is going to be. So that's all really great. Where it's a really great analysis that you can pull them really quickly to see. Uh, you can even, for example, go back to the previous lesson and summarize by store uh, and figure out what the profitability is by store. We're going to create a quick database. We're going to, yeah, we're just going to do a quick summarization. And we're going to include the sales. And we're going to go sales annual sum. That. And then you can see the profitability by store. So you can see the same number of records because it goes by product. And you'll see that uh, the third store is carrying extra weight. So it's interesting analysis to look for. So we're going to move on to the next table. So let's close off the rest of these tables just to keep it organized. And we're going to open up sales Q1. Perhaps. We don't want to append the tables and we want to look at the data sets uh, more on a, on a join basis. And you, but you don't want to go through so many joins. One easy way is to use this visual connector. So it basically allows you to connect multiple databases. And what you'll see is if any of you have used an access database, it's going to be very similar. So it's going to show the first table, again, the primary table. And we're going to open. We're going to add the four tables and we're going to discuss how, how we're going to connect it. So we can either connect it by store and product. In this case, we're probably going to connect it by product. In this case, we only want to do uh, the sales amount from each of the quarters. So again, I have Actually, so I'm going to the quarters. So I'm going to have the quarters, the product, uh, the store, and then I'm going to have this, uh, the product number. So connect it there. And we're going to create a new database. And we're going to call it uh, Sales Annual Compare. And so you'll see, uh, you can see the sales amount by quarter and see a quick comparison to see uh, how we're doing. We may want to rename these fields, uh, but we can discuss that in another lesson set. So again, Visual Connector is a great way to connect and do joins on multiple tables. So it's a quick and efficient way of performing that. I find join is a little bit better, it does a little bit more functionality if you want to do a more specific join between two different uh, tables. And then what compare does is it compares uh, different different data sets of a quarter nature. So you can probably uh, open that and we just like the secondary one. And maybe want to total uh, sales amount and we're going to call this uh, yeah, sales. Two, and we're going to match it by say uh, store and also product. And then you can see uh, there's a quick comparison on the total between Q1 and Q2. And then the, the variances. So this is really good if you have a beginning and opening trial levels. So again, that's uh, this is lesson four, relating data. If you have any more specific questions or items that you want me to go over, I'm more than happy to go over it. So thank you again, and I uh, hope to see you soon. Thank you.